Corda seeks Australian Open title on 20th anniversary of Dad's triumph. Sebastian Corda today plays for the Australian Open junior boys title on the same court upon which his father Petter won his lone Grand Slam title two decades ago. When a nine-year-old hockey player named Sebastian Corda traveled with his father Petter to the U.S. Open in 2009, it was love at first sight. Until that point, Sebastian had played hockey five days a week and would hit tennis balls possibly once on the weekend. When the Cordas returned from that trip, Sebastian approached his father. He said he does not want to play hockey, the former world number two remembered. He quit hockey overnight. He has not skated and he has not played hockey since. Not once. And now, more than seven years later, Sebastian is into the final of the Australian Open boys singles. 20 years after his father won his lone singles Grand Slam trophy on the same court inside Rod Lover Arena. It's pretty awesome. It's a great feeling, Petter said from his home in Bradenton, Florida. I'm very happy for him. He's enjoying his experience in this special journey. You may also like carving his own path, Corda, to make Challenger debut. Petter, who won 10 tour-level singles titles and 10 tour-level doubles titles, did not choose tennis for his kids. In fact, he has two daughters, Jessica, 24, and Nellie, 19, who play professional golf. I never wanted my kids to play tennis, Corda said. We'd love our kids to play other sports so they can set their own goals. If any one of our kids would follow our footsteps, the goals are already preset for them. It's very difficult for the kids to get out of the shadow of that and obviously they're trying to beat their parents. That is true especially for this tennis-rich family, as Peter's wife, Regina, was also a professional tennis player who ascended as high as world number 26. But while Petter did not want his son, 17, pushed into a life of his father's choosing, Sebastian made the choice for himself. We gave him one month to think about it and during the period he came up to me. I believe Jim Courier was on TV commentating and he came and asked me, Dad, do you know who won the first U.S. Open, recalled Corda, who was unsure. But Sebastian knew it was Arthur Ashe, and that proved plenty to Petter. That when he convinced me he really wanted to play. He was really interested about the history because I love the history of tennis. So he earned my vote to let him go on to be a tennis player. It wasn't just that one nugget that Sebastian knew. Petter remembers Sebastian treating the annual ATP World Tour media guide like a textbook. Reciting results whenever players he saw in the book played on television. That was like a Bible to him, Corda said. He became very invested in tennis and that's what I love and admire and it reminds me of when I was a kid, I could see the passion. That was his choice, his idea. From following his father to Flushing Meadows as he coached Czech veteran Rodik Stepanek to Meeting Roger Federer, who plays for a 20th Grand Slam title Sunday, on the same grounds at 14, Sebastian has lived a fan's dream in the tennis world. Federer Corda. That passion has carried Sebastian to as high as number 6 in the junior rankings. He arrived in Australia in December to play play two weeks of ATP Challenger Tour events reaching the final round of qualifying at each and an ITF Grade 1 Juniors event in this week's Australian Open Junior Semi-Finals. The seventh-seeded Korda defeated second-seed Marko Miladinovic, whom he lost to less than two weeks ago despite holding two match points. And now Korda has a chance against Taiwan's Chun HSI and Seng, the sixth seed to become the third member of the family to win an Australian Open title, his oldest sister, Jessica, won golf's version at age 18 in 2012.
Petter coaches Sebastian, but he did not make the trip to Australia. The USTA's Dean Goldfein and Corda's former agent. Patricio Ape, who works with Alexander Zarev, are with Sebastian at Melbourne Park. I would love to be there, especially 20 years later. It's very special for me, Corda said. But I decided to stay home to let him enjoy the Australian Open the way he needs to enjoy it. If I would be there, I believe I would be a distraction because that trip would not be about him, it would all be about Dad's 20th anniversary. This is all about Sebastian, and Petter values his children's success far more than his own. Lifting my trophy was a fantastic moment, it was a great feeling. But what my kids are doing is what makes me very proud, Corda said. Winning the Australian Open 1996 doubles and 1998 in singles is meaningless compared to what? My kids are doing. I'm happy that he is doing his own footsteps. So hopefully he's not going to be known as my son. Hopefully I'll be known as only his dad. I think that's something that I'm really looking forward to. That he's not going to be reminded what his dad did, but I will be reminded what my son did. I'm really looking forward to that. Petter has spoken to Sebastian after each of his matches, but only texted him beforehand. His advice ahead of Saturday's final will be simple. Just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. That's a great experience. Whatever happens, happens, but enjoy the moment. From Florida, Sebastian will have at least one sleep-deprived fan following very closely in the Middle of the night as he attempts to become the first American-Australian Open boys singles champion since Donald Young in 2005. It's very worth it, Corda said. But trust me, it's nerve-wracking.